Hello everyone! How's everybody doing? I know it's been forever since I have done a YouTube video, but I think I am finally ready to get back in the swing of things and do some crafting, some Dollar Tree hauls, some Hobby Lobby hauls. Um, I got a bunch of gift cards uh, for Christmas, so I have been doing a little shopping here and there and I've seen all the videos um, about the Clarence at Hobby Lobby. So I just ran my little self to the store and these are the things that I found. Um, there is one thing that's not Hobby Lobby and that is this container. Uh, it's a real pretty kind of like a seafoam green and this is the Mainstay brand and these are from Walmart. And I got three of these medium storage bins. Um, the colors in my room are kind of cream and white and this like uh, either like a mint green or a seafoam green or like a teal in that color family. So I got these to put some of my craft items in. So I got three of these. I think these are like $2.97. They were less than $3. So I picked up three of these. So on to the Hobby Lobby haul. I don't think I picked, I may have picked up one thing. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I think I used, I still um, was able to use a 40% off coupon when I went. Um, Supposedly, as of the end of February, you can no longer use 40% off coupons at Hobby Lobby. So. so, here is what I got. I got these cute little mini craft sacks. And these are the designs that you get. I'll take them out so you can see them better without the glare. But these had been $3.49 and I got them for $0.87. Cents. Got this cute little design here. Looks like you get you get four of each design. So there's this design, this cute little bow, you get the lipsticks. These are cute little sack, you know, put some goodies in and send in friend mail or to like decorate your journals. These say Lady Boss, and then the eyelashes with the mascara. So, got those. How many of those did I get? I got, I got four of those for 87 cents. So I will put those in there. Oh, and then I got this design. These are also mini craft sacks. They were also 87 cents. Had been $3.49. I just thought these were pretty. And if you don't like the design, you could collage over the top of them. If it's not your aesthetic. So I got that design. These cute little pineapples. That'd be cute for a summer journal. These cute birds. and the palm leaves and this design so I think I picked up two or three of those I don't see them in the stack we'll get to them and then I picked up these these are flat cards and envelopes these had been $4.99 and I got them for a dollar and 24 cents because you know if we saw this at the Dollar Tree we would have picked these up. Aren't these cute? They say, hey girl. And they're just, oh, they're just like, I thought they were like card cards or postcards. But you could do so much with these. Just send them as a note to your friends. I love getting stuff in the mail. I mean, I know not a lot of people send cards and letters and stuff. Actually, it's all, you know, texting or, you know, sending an email. But I love getting something handwritten in the mail. Love it. So, pick these up. And these are just the plain white envelopes. So, I got 
two or three of those, I think. Two at least. So we've got those. Then I picked up these tags. These had been $3.99, and I got them for 99 cents. They look like this. There's only one design. But look how cute. They're nice, sturdy, kind of like tag like, kind of like a manila folder weight. But I thought those were cute. And then I picked up these floral tags. These have been $3.99, and I got them for $9. I would never have paid $3.99 for these, but $0.99, cents, yes, please. Really pretty floral. And then I picked up these. They're uh, little wooden tags, and these had been $4.99, and I got them for $1.24. And they all say, Happy Birthday. But I thought, you know, you could put some chalk paint over them, make them any color that you wanted, and put any kind of, like, little labels. You know how we always have labels from the sticker books from Michaels or Happy Planner or even the Dollar Tree. So I thought, you know, put some chalk paint on those and you can put anything you want. They're plain on the back, so you would only have to cover up the one side. So these have been $4.99, I got them for $1.24, and I picked up three packages of those. And then I picked up these tags. I picked up three of this style. They had been $4.99, and I got them for, for uh, $1.24. I think I have one of these. This one's open, yeah. And it's just this design with, I don't know if you can tell, but it has silver foil around the edges. So I thought those would be nice to like stick in a journal or um, maybe to organize some stuff in my craft room. You guys, I am doing a major overhaul of this craft room. It has turned into nothing but a dumping ground. So it is my goal for 2021 to get in this craft room and get it cleaned up and organized so I can craft in here. Uh, then there's this design. These had been $3.99. All of this, most of this stuff is the paper studio. $3.99, I got it for 99 cents. And it's just this real pretty, this design. Just kind of like a watercolor brush stroke. Very pretty. Here's a couple more of these floral tags. 99 cents. And I think that's it for the tags. Let's get into some stickers. These are also the Paper Studio. They had been $2.99 and I got them for 74 cents. And anybody that has followed me for a while know that I absolutely love anything Paris related. And doesn't she just look so chic just shopping through the downtown streets of Paris? But I just thought these were so cute for 74 cents. I mean, that's even better than the Dollar Tree. And then a lot of their um, stickers and labels and everything were clearance. These are the thickers. And they had been $4.99, got them for $1.24, and it's this really pretty floral design on here. Numbers and letters. I just thought those were so springy and colorful. And then they had some stamps on clearance. These had, this is from Stampabilities had been $13.99 and I got it for $3.49 and these are all individual stamps and you have the uppercase and the lowercase but I just thought those were so pretty so I'll be using those shortly 
And then I got these. These are rub-ons. Now, you have to be careful with rub-ons, but these had been $2.99 and on clearance for $0.74. Cents. So you just have to be careful and make sure that you only put down, you know, what, I mean, a lot of times I will just cut out what I want, so I make sure that I'll go into the next number. And you just put these down and use a popsicle stick and, you know, put that down on your paper or journal or whatever you want to put it on. Tag. So I got three of those. And then I got two of these with the gold foil. These have been $4.99 and I got them for $1.24. And this is just, I can't remember if it says, yeah, you get two sheets of each in each package. But really pretty gold foil. Two of those. And then I got this one. This is the upper and lower case. This had been $2.99 and I got it for $0.74. Cents. Okay, and what else do we have? Oh, this is the only thing I didn't pay full price for. This had been $1.99, and I didn't have anything else that wasn't clearance, so I got to use my 40% off coupon on this. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I paid full price for this. I had a Happy Planner Notes, but I don't have it up here in the craft room. It's downstairs in my, um, in my Bible journaling tote. But aren't these, these are like little magnetic... Um, bookmarks and then the little binder clips I thought those were so cute so I got those and then they had some stamps on clearance so I got this one this one this one had been $3.99 and I got it for 99 cents and it's just this cute little coffee cup I know you can't see it for the sticker but you get the the gist so I got this cute little coffee stamp. I got this. It says inspired by life created by hand. One of a kind art created by and a place for your name right there. And this had been $3.99 and this was also 99 cents. This cute little bee this one was not on clearance. It was $3.99, but these stamps were 40% off. So I picked him up because he was so cute. And got this cute little llama. He was $5.49, but 40% off. So I got him. This one is a Tim Holtz stamp. I don't know if it, it says... What's moo? <laughs> um, cracks me up. And it had been $9.99 and it was on clearance for $2.49. Isn't that cute? Love it. Cute for like a little farmhouse journal or somebody that gets your brand of humor. <laughs> Which a lot, not a lot of my friends do. And then got this really pretty background stamp. This had been uh, this had been ten ninety nine, and I got it for two seventy four, and it's just this really pretty. It's like a a dress form, and then all of this billowing out for the body of her dress. I just thought that was so pretty. Love it. So I got that. And then I got this one. This one says handmade. And this had been $5.99 on clearance for $1.49. And I that's the end of the stuff for Hobby Lobby. And then I stopped in also at Joann's. And I found this. This had been on clearance. This was Park Lane. And it's for bullet journal stamping but you can make your own habit tracker. And this was only a dollar something. I don't have my receipt here, but it was less than two dollars. Isn't that cute? And then I got these Park Lane adhesive tabs. 
there are 60 pieces in here and they're a real pretty like marble and let's see if I can get it open here oh it's sealed shut but anyway they're really pretty designs some of them are a light with a gold foil and then some darker ones but these are adhesive tabs that you can use to put in your journals and I ran into Dollar General and these had been their Christmas pens and these were 90% off so I got these for 10 cents each so you and they're different colors you get a red a gold and a green so I got these for 10 cents so that is my haul for today I will be having some more hauls coming up in the near future because I need to start organizing this stuff and playing with it. So um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is staying safe. And um, I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, God bless. Bye-bye.